Welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over how to create 3D maps with PyDeck. For more information on PyDeck, visit the Python Package Index or visit the documentation at this address here. Here we have a gallery of examples. For install instructions, go to Installing PyDeck. And to use PyDeck with Mapbox, visit this section here to get a Mapbox API key. A couple quick notes. Mapbox requires an API key. To rotate your 3D maps, you can use different key combinations. So for example, on the Mac, you can use Command with your mouse or your trackpad. For Windows, you can try out other key combinations. For all of our examples, we're going to use this pattern here. First, we will create or pull in our data. Then we will create our view, which will give us the start location, the zoom level, and other view attributes. Then we will create our layer or layers. Then we will render the map. And finally, we can display or save the map. For the imports, we have imported PyDeck, Pandas, Vega Datasets, IPy Widgets, Palatable, JSON. And as we mentioned, if you want to use Mapbox, that requires an API key. To enable PyDeck for Jupyter Notebooks, enter this into your terminal or command prompt. For our first example, let's go over an arc layer example, and we want to create a map with work commute patterns. If you would like to use different types of map styles, you can reference this list here. The first thing we did is we pulled in our data. Then we go ahead and create our view using pydeck.viewState. Then we put in the starting point with the latitude and the longitude. Then we specify the pitch and the zoom. Next, we created our layer using pydeck.layer. The type of layer is arc layer. Then we put in our data, the source position, the target position, the width, the tilt, the source color, and the target color. Then we go ahead and render the map using pydeck.deck. And for the arguments, we specify the map style, the layers, the view, and then here we put in our Mapbox API key. To create an HTML file, we use this code here. And then to display or show the map, we use this code here. So let's do a quick recap. Here, we pulled in our data. Then we created our view. Then we create our layer or layers. Then we go ahead and render the map. And finally, we save and display the map. Let's go ahead and run it. And here we have our commute routes map. which shows us the route from home, which is orange, to work, which is purple. We can move the map around, and we can rotate the map. And we can zoom in and out. Let's move on to our next example. As we mentioned, we're going to use this pattern here to create all of our examples. In this example, we have created a column layer to show us population by county. So we can see the taller the column, the higher the population.
Here we have created a hexagon layer to show us occurrences of earthquakes. Here we have a heat map layer example to show us population by county. Here we have a GeoJSON layer example, once again, to show us population by county. The more the county is elevated, the higher the population. So for example, Marion County is the highest populated county. Lake County is another highly populated county. This example shows a text layer with county names. For our last example, we show how to create an interactive map with animation. And this map shows its population growth over time. And we can use the slider, or we can use our play button here. To create the map, we use the same pattern, with the addition of using widgets from MyPy widgets. We go ahead and pull in the data. Then we create the view, the layer, we render the map, and here we create our widgets. And finally, we show or display the map. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.